Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have the newest Xsense Smart Security Camera because I already have the Xsense app already fired up on my phone with all of their smart carbon monoxide detectors and smoke alarms as well. They work great and I expect the same quality in this product as well. This also has a solar panel attached to it. Okay, right off the bat, a very slim, very nice design solar panel. I've reviewed a lot of other security cameras and their solar panels are super beefy and this one is beautifully thin. You got your mounting bracket on the back here, a nice long wire. So you can mount that in the sun and then wire that down the side of a building, etc. So you got your solar panel right there. You got your mounting bracket and hardware right here. You have a USB to USB-C charging cable to charge it before you do mount it. And then we have the camera right here, which I'm going to go ahead and cover up the scannable QR code on the top of it here. As we can see, a nice small design as well from my hand here. You got your mounting hardware, your speaker on the back right there as well, and your waterproof rated latch on the bottom here to put in your micro SD card, etc. And that flaps shut. And then you do have the small little panel here that opens up to feed through the solar panel cord there at the bottom right there. Again, a very small device, but it packs a punch. So you got your mounting hardware for the camera as well as your screws and anchors. Now let's set this up in the app. Okay, folks, super easy to connect it with the Xsense app. This is the same app that you use for all your other devices, carbon monoxide, smoke alarms, mailbox alarm, etc. We can rename it in the app right here and location. So I'll rename it and then I'll hit done. So this is not the permanent location here, but we have our solar panel, which is super thin. Again, looking really, really sharp on my table here. We have the camera right here, just kind of perched on the edge, just temporary. Again, this is not going to be the permanent location. Okay, well, let's go ahead and look at a live view within the app here as it's overlooking the area here. This is my little construction site here for some of my outbuildings I'm working on and my beautiful dog. It's pointed up just a little bit so obviously tilt that and definitely check your internet connection before you permanently mount it. Now again this does have speech this does have listen as well so you have sound and it depends upon your internet connection how fast it will go ahead and do it but as you can see with the sound it's taking it in the microphone and we have an audible alarm as well. Let's turn that on. Very cool. Startled the puppy. <laughs> that is very nice to deter. Now, again, if you do have slow internet, I'm out here in the sticks, so we're on satellite. If you do have slow internet, sometimes it will take a little bit of time to connect as we're kind of getting a little bit of a reverb in the background here. Now, it also has a white light on the front of it as well that you can turn on if you need a little extra viewing potential. And that is right over here in the corner here, and that toggles on or off. And of course, if you want to video, capture that on the SD card or a snapshot right there that can be saved to your photo album, etc. As we can see here, we have Wi-Fi. We are charging currently right now. So that indication with the solar panel is now charging it. And you have press to speak here. So let's go ahead and try that. Now you folks with your razor fast internet will have a lot better results than myself. Again, like I stated, I'm in the sticks and our internet is very spotty at times, but Overall great features, being able to speak through the speaker on the camera. You can hear, you have the audible alarm and your white light. And here is a nice live shot right here of my front door. And of course I would tilt that down or I could even mount that up in a corner right there looking down for packages, deliveries, etc. Now right here we have our battery indicator. We have Wi-Fi signal, status, location. Motion detection you have on medium, you will get push notifications to your phone. Go ahead and toggle all of your different settings to make this camera work for you. SD card management, lighting settings, auto power, auto settings. You can toggle motion detection on and off. If you're getting a lot of false notifications, go ahead and toggle that off or change to a lower setting for your motion detection. And you can do resolution, recording resolution, and you can do duration. So you can do 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. It looks like the camera will end recording once the movement stops with a maximum duration of three minutes. And once again, just because of my internet connection, that actually fired up very quickly. That means that my internet is running smoothly now. But a little while ago, again, sometimes it gets a little splotchy. But if you have fast internet, I wouldn't worry about that at all. Very crisp, looks very 
clean. We can also go full mode right here, as we can see on my phone, if you wanna see what's going on. And let me just go ahead and show you a live shot here. We'll go ahead and walk to the door here. I think I'm right there in the door. Looks like we have a slight delay due to the internet connection. There I am there. So again, depends on how fast your internet connection is. That was about a good maybe 12 second delay or so but looking really clean and clear. All right, folks, and here is a nice nighttime shot here. I do have a porch light on. Look at how clear and crisp that is. I got my Christmas tree on the inside. Got some Christmas lights to the left that are bleaking, as you can see there. I'll go ahead and shut off the lights, and we're going to go ahead and look at night vision right now, but very crisp, wide-angle lens like that looks really, really sharp. And if you are wondering... It's connecting a lot quicker now because the internet is working a lot better than what it was earlier. Alrighty, and I just want to state, if you see this uh, green line, it's because my phone's broken. That's why you see a uh, line on the, uh, the camera there that does not happen if your phone is not broken like mine. Anyway, we're looking at a complete dark shot right here. We got the night vision light that's kind of reflecting off my front door. That's what you see where my thumb is. As you can see here, you can see everything beautifully. And you can also zoom in. You go ahead and double tap. I can't really do it with one hand, but you can pinch it to zoom in and out. As you can see, my wicker thing over here, my table, my Christmas decorations, very, very nice. Great night vision as well. Let's look and see what happens when I turn on the white light with night vision, as we can see it there. So did you see that? It went from kind of a black and white to a more lit up shot now where you can actually see the colors a little bit better for a very small little light right there. That does an absolute fantastic job. Take a look at that. Well guys, overall the camera has a lot of really cool features. With that fast internet, you're gonna get great connection speeds. And full disclosure, the company did send this out for free of charge so that I can make a test review video for the product. They also paid me a small fee as well. I thank you for your time and thank you for watching.